Page 15. Shading and elaborating. Shade the amount stated. You may need to draw some extra lines. So if we look at the first one, we have five sixes. We only have three pieces though, so we're going to have to draw some more in. If we draw one line between each of those pieces there, we now have six slices. We're going to sl shade in five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we have two twelfths right here. So we have halves right here now. Um, we can also reduce these to one sixth. So let's go ahead and draw threes with this. So we have six pieces now. If you were to make it to 12, you could just add one more line to each of these pieces. And they will shade in two of those twelfths. Okay, uh, one fourth. We just cut this in half and then shade in one piece. Okay, go ahead, draw in the extra lines for the rest of these and shade them in. Fill in each blank to make each statement true. So we have our example, 2 over 3. If you multiply those each by 5, you get 10 fifteenths. If we multiply 2 by 7, we get 14. 3 by 7, we get 21. These are equivalent fractions. To get 36, we're going to have 3 times 12. And to make this a unity fraction, these are unity fractions. They must be the same number in both the numerator and the denominator. So that means that we're going to have 12 here. So 12 times 2 is 24. Okay, let's do one of these towards the bottom. So some number times 3 equals 30. That's 10. Some number times 3 equals 51. Well, 3 goes into 51 17 times. So it be 10 17ths on this side. Uh, 2 over 7, multiply each of those by 9 to get 18 60 thirds. Okay, 10 times something equals 100. That's 10. And we have to put the same thing here because that's a unity fraction. 12 times 10 is 120. And let's look at the bottom part. Uh, now we're going to be multiplied by a variable. We have 5 times y squared. That's 5y squared. 6 times y squared is 6y squared. 1 times 2r is 2r. 2 times 2r is 4r. 4 times something equals 12xyz. That would be 3xyz. 3xyz. So 3 times 3xyz is 9xyz. Fill in the rest of this page and then move on to the next page.